Today, I'm going to show you how to stream your GoPro to a local RTMP server using a MacBook so you can stream to OBS and VLC and all that. So let's get started. First, type in this URL into your web browser or follow the link in the description and download the code. So you're gonna go here, download zip. Once the zip is downloaded, you're gonna extract it. I already have mine downloaded, so I'm just gonna go here launch the RTMP server. And as you can see, nothing pops up except this little gray icon with a dash through it. It says no streams currently. So this is the format we're gonna use. Don't worry about the stream key. We're just gonna be using the RTMP URL. So this is the format. It's gonna be RTMP colon slash slash your IP address slash live slash a unique name. That unique name can be anything. So for example, Let's go to the app. But first, make sure your GoPro is on and connected to the app. Once that's done, we are going to find your specific IP address by going into System Preferences, Network, and then there it is right at the bottom. Go in the app, scroll all the way to the right, and hit Live. In this case, we're going to use RTMP because that is how we're gonna get the URL onto our Mac. Wait for that to load. Once finished loading, connect to a Wi-Fi, enter the URL that I provided. So it's gonna be RTMP colon slash slash your IP address slash live slash your unique key. Now your IP address is going to be your IP address, not mine, yours. Resolution you can set and save a copy you can set on your own. Then once that's done, you can set up the live stream. Push the blue button. Push the blue button again, and you're live. And you can see this is not gray anymore, it is red, and it can say GP1, which is the unique name that we gave it, is connected. This is the URL that is the format. Now we are gonna open up OBS Studio and VLC. First, we'll start with VLC. VLC, just open that up. We're gonna go here, File, open network, type in what you just typed in to your phone, click open, and there's our live footage. Now, this will go away in just a few seconds. There we go. Once you have this, we're opening, we're gonna open up OBS Studio. Once it is opened, you can see I already have this here, and that's due to the fact that I already have a VLC video source. Now. If your computer is a 64-bit, you need to download the 64-bit of VLC. It will not work if you have 64 and then 32 or vice versa. It needs to be the 64 and 64 or 32 or 32. So we're going to add VLC. You will not see this if you are having different systems running. So let's open up this. Okay. Always play even when not visible. Plus, oh, sorry. Plus, add path or URL. You're going to type in that exact path that you typed into VLC and the GoPro Live. And once that's done, you will have a live video feed. Now you can add overlays and everything that you want with this. Now that I already have two, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete the first one. Yes. Okay, just like this, you can add a, a video capture device through the webcam. You can add overlays, images, browsers, color source, audio input. You can add everything that you want. You can even add stuff from Streamlabs OBS in here with a browser source. Of course, there will be a little bit of delay because it has to go through the signal, then the RTMP then VLC, and then finally to OBS. So here, I'm gonna move my hand, and let's see how long it takes. There we go. So it's not a huge delay. It's maybe one or two seconds. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is the Hero 9 Black here. So it does work on GoPro. It will work on probably every GoPro that has live streaming capability. So like the Hero 7, 8, 9, 10. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.